So, you know how at the last minute you forgot, oh shit, I forgot to take care of something. That was totally me. <laughs> it is now 9.41, and when I started this, it was 7-something, and so I've wasted most of my evening not being able to do what I enjoy to do. And it's just making, you know, videos. I enjoy doing these. I enjoy the fact that some people watch them. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy so much of it. Um, yesterday, I wanted to play this real quick before I jump into today what I wanted to uh, kind of continue on from Mr. Ballin. I noticed, because I have said it before, my favorite like song has been Yellow by Alejandro Aranda aka Scary Pool Party the first time he sang it live of course I was hooked the second time he played it it's so awesome that Coldplay allowed him to do that so I give it up to Coldplay I don't know if they're signed to the same record label or not but regardless that's still awesome of them um, but if you notice and you got to kind of pay attention and maybe it's just the fact that I've done this for so long or I had done it for so long, it seems like he kind of almost pays like a homage to, uh, I believe his name is Chris Martin for the life of me. He used to be married to, uh, Gwyneth Paltro. I know that much, but let me see. Coldplay front, man. I don't know why the caps are on. Oh, yeah, duh. One word. Chris Martin. Yep, I was right. Get over here. So it kind of seems like he pays a little bit of homage to him. And let me know if you think I'm overthinking it or not, but listen to how he does the music video version and not the American Idol version. So let's start off with the American Idol version. I hate old cats. Shopify makes it easy. Oh, by the way, if you're a first time to this channel, let me just tell you this. Up until the end of June, all my videos have always been on Prime. Never did I have commercials. Never did I have interruptions in between, you know, uh, videos I was reviewing or reacting over. However, um, I shot two commercials for YouTube. And they were telling me, okay, it's going to be any day now. It's going to air. So when my uh, premium subscription was up for renewal, I intentionally kept it off because they're not going to send uh, the talent a cut copy of it unless you were like a freaking Robbie, Robert Downey Jr. or Johnny Depp or Brad Pitt or one of those types, you know. They're not going to send you a copy of what they're going to release and how they edited it. And that's what I'm, like, most in, like, you know, kind of uh, anxious about to see how they went about editing it. Uh, it was supposed to be funny. And while I always was a class clown, um, the feature film that I'm in, it's not funny at all. <laughs> so it's, like, two stark contrasts there that, yeah. Um, so just... I apologize for the commercials, uh, but as soon as I see it or somebody sends it to me, uh, back to premium I go. So I just want to let you guys know that. Easy to set up your online store. Expand into new sales. Yesterday. Just feel like I'm in the presence. See a little bit of me because I was always the awkward guy. Okay, now listen now. He starts out this. Guy, <laughs> loner. I mean, this is the biggest compliment too, by the way, Alejandro. <laughs> what were you like as a kid? Mostly just kind of like to myself. 
socially awkward. I feel like when I'm on stage, that's where I really get to be me. Um, I feel 100% home. If it involves music, I'm just like, man, I just love this. Look at the stars. Okay, that's from American Idols live in Hawaii. Now, the way Chris Martin sings it. Let's talk about easy, like fee-free easy and no minimums easy. Plus it earns. You know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I truly believe once you have premium, they play double the commercials on your ass when you <laughs> don't uh, resume your premium. I, I, I honestly think that. It's interest easy with over 70,000 fee-free ATMs. Okay, so it's not that big of a, like I said, it's very subtle, but it's different when he did it live in Hawaii, but it almost sounds to me like a homage to them for letting him use it and make a, you know, a video out of it. And you'll kind of see what I mean. And it starts off in the very first, I would say, in the very first, like, 10 seconds. It just, he changed it up from from his live performance to this, where he sounds a lot like, not a lot like, but kind of throws in that Chris Martin-ish type of sound. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys think I'm reaching here or not. The moment that he says for you, it didn't sound anything like when he did it live. It kind of sounds like he was taking Chris Martin's, you know, approach. So that's what I'm trying to point out. <laughs> Okay, so if I'm reaching, by all means, let me know. I, I, you know, I could be completely wrong. And, yeah, I'm wrong a lot on a lot of things. So, uh, I just thought it was kind of like, wow, it kind of seemed like he was just like, you know, paying homage to you. Thank you for letting me use this and make a music video out of it. Because this song, for people who have been following me, this is my absolute favorite song that he's done to this date. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be right back with a continuation of a series that we had been doing uh, a couple of weeks ago. So until then, peace.